Okay, I have had a few people reach out to me on how I created this portion in my Canvas course. And so I am going to walk you through step by step on how to create it and embed it into your page. It can be on the home page, it can be in your announcements, in an assignment page. It's totally up to you, but you'll follow the same steps. Disclaimer, I did create this portion in Adobe Illustrator. However, it is something that you can do in Google Slides or PowerPoint. So I am going to show you how you could do it in PowerPoint. So to start off, you're going to want to insert a blank slide to work with, and then you're going to want to insert a text box. You will type in the word that you want. So I'm just going to use the word hello for right now. And then you will want to change your font to whichever font you want and your font size for that. If you want to change the color, you can change it. I'm not going to show in this video how to do the colors like this, but I have another video you can check out. I just don't want this to get too long. So I have my word now and I'm going to highlight my word if I want to add another word to it before moving it to Canvas, I can put here, um, hello, hope you have a great day, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, select my font again and the size that I want. So now I have two things that I want added to my Canvas page. So I'm going to highlight all of it. You can click and highlight like that. If you're on a Mac, Command A, I think Control A on a PC. So that both of your text boxes are highlighted. Then you will right click on it and go down to Save as Picture and then name it. So I'm just gonna name this Hello. Then I can go oops, back to my Canvas page. I'm going to put this on my home page, but like I said, it would work on your announcements or in your assignment page or wherever. So on my home page, I'll click on edit. I'm going to give myself some room to paste this. Okay, so now I have where I want it. I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and click on images. Upload a new image and then I need to select the one. I put it as a decorative image. You can also put alternate text, hello, message, something like that if you want. But I always just do decorative image if it's a picture like this. And then I will upload it. Once you upload it, it will automatically put it where you had selected. Then you can click and resize to fit your need how you want it. So then there that is. And if I save, then on my Canvas page, you can now see that that is there. Um, so it's that simple. It's not hard at all. You can use it to create other things like this. Again, you can do that in PowerPoint by creating a new slide. And uh, whoops, we're gonna insert a shape this time. Draw your shape, change the color um, of your shape if you want, the outline if you want it to have an outline. I'm just going to do no outline for this one. Then if you want it to say something that the students see on top of this button, maybe you're creating um, a button that would go to your announcements page or something like that, then you would add your text box, announcements type over it, highlight so you can actually see what it says if you did it in black like I did. And then you will change the color, the size, and font so that you have your custom font that you want on your button. Making sure that fits inside the box. Okay, again, highlighting all of it, right click, save as picture announcements. Oops, I don't want to replace because I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then we will come back to Canvas and edit again. So then I can put this image here. 
here. And again, click on that image. These little boxes will appear in the corner for you to drag and make it the size that you want. Right now it is just a text or a picture to look at, but if you want it to be like this where you actually click on it, then I do have a video that you can watch for that. Anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And like I said, to do a color scheme like this, I do have another video for if your question is pertaining to that. Good luck.